let's talk a little bit about the materials that are used today and the materials that we're proposing. Yes. So if you look at a battery pack today, it's, you know, as you saw on the ID4, it was, it's made from aluminum. Um, and aluminum, when it's subjected to the temperatures um, of 1100 degrees C, which is about the temperature of, of a fire inside of a battery pack, it, it melts a hole right through in, in just a few seconds. Um, so we've developed a polypropylene, a flame retardant polypropylene called Staymax. Um, that is, th so this, let's take a look at this plaque here. Um, this is a four millimeter thick plaque um, subjected uh, to 1100 degrees C, uh, it's 2000 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes uh, with a torch. Um, as you can see, this did not burn a hole through it and it's very strong. It's, re it's retained its integrity. Um, and Stefan's got a, a we, what we decided to show here was once you start to integrate a little bit of geometry into this, um, it can even start to keep the uh, heat from spreading to the other pieces. And if you flip that over, Stefan. Sure. I mean, it's even the... the it's the also the very important that, you know, on the other side, on the yep. flame opposite side, you have a temperature lower than 200 degrees, whereas the flame has a temperature of, of 1100 degrees. Yes. So you can really see that this is a very uh, still structural performing part and... Uh, yeah, so in, in, our, in our testing, as uh, Stefan said, this side, after five minutes, was less than 200 degrees C. Um, so what is that, why is that important? That's, that's important because um, if you had a cell on the other side of this, or a vehicle, uh, the cabin, you would keep that, that fire from spreading uh, due to high temperatures. Correct. So it's, it's extremely important to, to uh, insulate the fire in, on one side. And when, you, when we take away the flame, after the five minutes test, you know, the, the flame distinguishes out of itself directly when we yeah. take away the flame. So that what's, is also a very good performance. And what's really interesting is you can see this foam that's um, developed here. We call this an intumescent char. Uh, it's basically a skin that has formed to protect itself from the fire. And we are able to modify these materials based on our customers' needs, based on the requirements we receive. So this is a very uh, positive result from, for us.